Good morning, my friends. So I want to give you a little analogy, a little example, a little illustration of what's going to happen during the season of Lent. And I want to use the sanctuary as an example. And I'm preaching this particular example for Ryan. So at Christmas time, we need a little bit more space in the sanctuary. So one of the things that I decided to do was to push the altar back about 15 inches. And when I did this, all of a sudden, there were some really interesting things that we began to find. All of a sudden, I began to see what the carpet looked like about 20 years ago when they first laid this carpet in the sanctuary. The second thing I began to notice is that where, um, where the sunlight hit the carpet, it began to fade. And so there's lots of, spl- lots of places around the altar, around the base of the altar, that are a lot lighter than the place that the altar covered. It's also the case, too, that there's lots more dirt around the, uh, around the base of the altar than the places that were covered. And this is the most interesting thing, is that I never realized that the altar was actually covering, it was actually covering a microphone jack. And so the, the, uh, the, mic, or the altar was, was used to cover the microphone jack, so we just instead put this little wooden cover over it to hide it. So, it's really interesting that we lost, we use, we use objects to hide other stuff. And then when we move those objects back, all of a sudden, lots and lots of things are seen. And that's exactly what happens during the season of Lent. If you stop and think about it, what you and I are going to do through prayer and fasting and almsgiving over the next 40 days is that you and I are going to move some stuff. We're going to move some stuff in our souls. We're going to move some stuff in our minds. We're going to move some stuff in our spirits. We're going to move some stuff in our hearts. And we're going to expose parts of ourselves that, quite frankly, we may not even want to see. We may not want to see areas that are a little bit dirty. We may not want to see areas that are a little bit darker. We may not want to see areas that are a little bit lighter. But the fact of the matter is that they need to be exposed so that we can decide what we're going to do with them and how we're going to respond. Because that's the stuff that ultimately keeps us from growing in our relationship with our Lord. The stuff that's dark, the stuff that's hidden, that's the stuff that keeps us from really knowing and embracing a life with with the Lord Jesus and really coming into eternal life. That's the stuff where, that's the place where sin hides. That's the place where our our sinful inclinations kind of hunker down. And we may not see them, but they're there. And we know they're there because every time we walk into the sacrament of confession and we confess the stuff that we do and the stuff that we say, we know that sin is part of our experience. And so that's why we, that's why we have to make a move. And so this season of Lent is a time for us to shove it back. This Lent is a time for us to move some stuff in our hearts through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. So move some stuff in our souls, in our minds, in our hearts, so that we can make the way for the Lord, so we can come into the light, so we can shine on it, and so that we can make a way for him. And then he can transform us, and so that he can do amazing stuff in us. And it all begins today. Moving that altar was a very, very good move I'm glad that I did it. And the reason why is that I gave myself a lot more space. A lot more space to move. A lot more space to decorate. A lot more space to us for, for us to be able to do different things in the sanctuary. Actually gave us more space to sit. But ultimately, what it did was it exposed some other stuff that needs to be taken care of. That's what we're doing during Lent. 
We're exposing stuff that needs to be taken care of. My friends, do not waste this opportunity. These next 40 days are God's gift to us through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving to do some important things. And it begins today. In a moment, we're going to bless ashes. And we're going to distribute those ashes. We're going to, put, we're going to take those ashes. We're going to put them on your forehead. You're going to be marked And you're going to walk around today, and people are going to know who you are. People are going to know that you're a Catholic. People are going to know that you're a Christian. Because you have this mark of ashes on your forehead. But more importantly, they're going to know that you're in a period of repentance. That you're changing your life. That you want to grow closer to Jesus. That's what it's all about. And so now, my friends, I want to ask you to please stand as we bless the ashes and prepare for the distribution.